What's going on YouTube? Your boy David from NBA Knowledge has returned and in today's video we got something a little bit different because as you can tell by the title we are going to name every single player at every single number who represented it the best. But before we get started with this video if you're not subscribed what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video that much don't forget to drop a like and hit the bell for post notifications to be up to date on the latest news on this channel every single time we post a video because we drop bangers every single time we need to. But without further ado, let's start off with Double Zero and his name is Robert Parrish, the all time great Hall of Famer on the Boston Celtics. Moving on to number zero, not double zero, we have the one and only MVP Russell Westbrook who averaged a triple double for three consecutive seasons and is currently averaging a triple double right now. Number one, we have Oscar Robertson, the guy who invented averaging a triple double. And then at number two, Moses Malone, a champion with the Philadelphia 76ers and was one of the greatest bigs in NBA history. His runner up, by the way, is Kawhi Leonard. Number three, we have Dwayne Wade, who is known as one of the greatest shooting guards of all time, a three time NBA champion, a former finals MVP, and had one of the greatest finals performances performances in NBA history in 2006 against the Dallas Mavericks. His runner-up, by the way, is Allen Iverson. Number four, we have Dolph Shays, who was one of the greatest power forwards in NBA history, his runner-up being Adrian Dantley. And number five, we have Kevin Garnett, who is one of the greatest bigs in NBA history, won a championship with the Boston Celtics, established himself as one of the all-time greats, also with the Minnesota Timberwolves, winning an MVP, and went on to have one of the greatest careers of all time, in my opinion, a top 20 to 25 player in NBA history. At number six, we have LeBron James. Obviously, Bill Russell is a notable name, obviously, but let's just be real here. LeBron's a way superior player at that time in Miami wearing number six than what Bill Russell was for the Boston Celtics. LeBron winning two championships, going to four straight NBA finals, two finals MVPs, and established himself along with the Miami Heat as one of the greatest super teams of all time despite them low-key underachieving. But moving on to number seven, we have Nate Archibald and his runner-up being Carmelo Anthony. Number eight, we have Kobe Bryant because who else is gonna get that number? The Mamba himself is goaded, and I think you guys already know who's gonna be number 24. Number nine, we have Bob Pettit, the power forward who actually defeated Bill Russell Celtics. For that alone, he has to be at this spot. And number 10, we have Walt Frazier, the point guard of the New York Knicks that helped them win a championship in the 70s. Man, if you can help the Knicks win a championship, you more than deserve a spot on this list. At number 11, we have Isaiah Thomas, not the Boston Celtics Isaiah, but obviously the Detroit Pistons Isaiah, who won two championships back to back with the Bad Boy Pistons and also captured a finals MVP in the second championship run. At number 12, we have John Stockton. At number 13, we have Wilt Chamberlain. 14, we have Bob Cousy, who I do not like, but hey, he's gonna have to be on this list because he was on that Bill Russell Celtics dynasty. Number 15, Vince Carter, one of the greatest dunkers and athletes in the history of the NBA. At number 16, we have Bob Lanier, his runner-up also being Pau Gasol, shout out to Pau. And also at number 17, John Havlicek, who also was on that Bill Russell dynasty team with Bob Cousy and all of them, but he also did win a championship later on after Bill Russell retired and would go on to establish himself as a future Hall of Famer and he eventually was a Hall of Famer on the first ballot. At number 18, we have Dave Cowens. 19, Willis Reed. 20, I got Gary Payton, who was one of the greatest point guards and one of the most underrated players in the history of the game, lockdown defender, even one defensive player of the year, and though he did not win a championship in his prime, he was a role player on that 2006 Miami Heat team. So unlike many others in his era, Michael Jordan did not leave him ringless. His backup, by the way, is Manu Ginobili, who obviously was the sixth man of one of the greatest dynasties in NBA history, known as the San Antonio Spurs. Number 21, his teammate, ironically, Tim Duncan, who is arguably, in my personal opinion, a top 
five player ever. If you'd want to disagree, go ahead and do that. But in my personal opinion, I believe he is in that conversation. Number 22, we have Elgin Baylor. His runner up, ironically, is Clyde Drexler. Shout out to both of these guys, Hall of Famers and all time greats. And RIP to Elgin Baylor as he did pass away recently. 23, who else? Michael Jeffrey Jordan. My apologies to the bronze sexuals out there, but he's just not going to get this spot and for obvious reasons. Number 24, Kobe Bryant, that's self-explanatory. 25, Mark Price, who is one of the most underrated players in NBA history, just cause he's white, let's just be real here. Invented, splitting through that pick and roll, man so influential on the modern game number 26 we have Kyle Korver who's one of the most dead-eye shooters in NBA history at 27 we have Jack Twyman at 28 we have Leandro Barbosa who was a very key contributor on those mid 2000s Suns teams with Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire 29 we have Paul Silas who ironically son is in the NBA as a head coach known as Steven Silas 30 Steph Curry one of the greatest shooters in the history of mankind actually he is undoubtedly the greatest shooter in the history of mankind three-time nba champion two-time mvp the first ever unanimous mvp even winning mvp in back-to-back -back seasons yeah that should explain why he's on this list 31 reggie miller if it's not steph curry that's the greatest shooter of all time you could definitely make the argument that it's reggie miller his backup ironically is sean marion who was also on those mid 2000s suns teams 32 magic johnson and his runner-up carl malone magic johnson one of the greatest point guards in the history of basketball most consider him the greatest point guard in the history of basketball five-time champion three-time finals mvp a finals mvp in his rookie season in which in the last game of that series went out there and dominated in a performance that led to a victory over the Philadelphia 76ers while Kareem Abdul-Jabbar did not play. Man, greatness from the beginning. 33, we have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, ironically, the all-time leading scorer. That's self-explanatory and his runner-up who will not be on this list is Larry Bird. Still all-time great though. 34, Shaquille O'Neal and his runner-up, Hakeem Olajuwon. I really debated those two. From a talent perspective, you could definitely argue Hakeem over Shaq, but when you look at the accomplishments, I gotta put Shaq over Hakeem. At 35, we have Kevin Durant, self-explanatory, two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, in my opinion, the best scorer in the history of basketball. 36, Rasheed Wallace, his runner-up being Marcus Smart. 37, Nick Van Exel, who's very underrated, by the way, one of the most smooth point guards. If you just just look up his highlight tape man that man was nice as hell his runner-up by the way is metal world peace aka ron artest 38 we have victor karaipa and please correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section with that pronunciation 39 we have jeremy grant 40 sean kemp who's one of the most entertaining players in nba history if you just stand in the paint and he's coming he is going to boom it on you at 41 we have dirk nowitzki who revolutionized the big man position one of the greatest shooters not just for a big but for any player in nba history a former league mvp and had one of the greatest runs in nba history getting to the finals and in the finals defeating multiple hall of famers such as james harden kevin durant kobe bryant Pau gasol and obviously the big three miami heat in the nba finals and at 42 speaking of clutch players we have james worthy big game james himself one of the greatest players in nba history showed up in game seven along with lebron james as the only two players to record a triple double in a game seven in nba finals history worthy of this spot no pun intended at 32 we have jack sigma at 44 we have jerry west who is the logo one of the greatest players of all time the only player to win a finals mvp in a losing effort and we'll go out there and drop like 40 in finals games man this guy was amazing bruh and his runner-up ironically is george gervin another player who's one of the greatest players of all time and known as one of the greatest scorers who innovated the finger roll at 45, we have Rudy Tomanovacic. Please, guys, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong with that name pronunciation. But regardless, he's a nice little power forward that played in the league. His runner-up also is AC Green, who was on some of those Showtime Lakers teams. At 46, we have Bo Outlaw. 47, Andre Karolinko, who has one of the greatest nicknames in NBA history, AK-47. At 48, we have Nazir Muhammad. 49, we have Shandon Anderson. 
50 David Robinson the Admiral who was bitched by Hakeem Olajuwon but still an NBA champion two times over and is known as one of the greatest centers and big men in NBA history. 51 we have Reggie King, 52 Jamal Wilkes who was on those Lakers dynasties with Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who was a really solid contributor and a 20 point per game score for a good portion of his career. 53 Artist Gilmore, 54 Horace Grant who was on those Bulls teams with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen during the first 3P who doesn't get enough love. He was a really key contributor with his interior presence down low on the defensive side of the ball. And speaking of defense, at 55, one of the greatest defenders of all time, a former defensive player of the year, Dikembe Mutombo. At 56, Francisco Elson. 57, Hilton Armstrong. 60, Jonathan Gibson. 61, Bevo Nortman. 62, Scott Pollard. 65, excuse me, George Radakovitz. 66 Andrew Bogut, an NBA champion with the Golden State Warriors and was a really key contributor as their rim protector. 67 my boy Taj Gibson, if you don't know, I am a Bulls fan so I will always have love for Taj Gibson. 70 we have Frank Selvi, 71 Willie Nalls, 72 Jason Capono, 73 Dennis Rodman, 76 Sean Bradley, 77 George Marusin, 81 Jose Calderon, 83 Craig Smith, 84 Chris Webber, 85 Baron Davis, shout out to B Davis, I got a lot of love for him and also Chris Webber by the way, influential player with the Fab Five, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. 86 Sami Erdin, 88 Nicholas Batum, 89 Clyde Lovettlit, 90 Drew Gooden, 91 Dennis Rodman. I mentioned Dennis Rodman earlier. I didn't want to spend too much time on that at that point in time in the video because let's just be real here. Him wearing number 73 is a disgusting part of his career, but as it pertains to him at 91, man. One of the greatest defenders and arguably the greatest defender of all time when he put that jersey on. Obviously a former defensive player of the year, but he is also known for his efforts on the bad boy Pistons and the Chicago Bulls, helping both of them cement themselves as one of the greatest teams in NBA history. Moving on to 92, we have Deshaun Stevenson. 93, Ron Artest, who was a backup for an earlier number, but hey, he got his number 93 on this list. 94, Evan Fournier, who just got traded to the Celtics by the way 95 deandre bemtree 96 ron artest again pops up on this list but he actually had this number as metal world peace so yeah this was probably the later part of his career in which he wasn't as great but was still a valid contributor on some teams especially on the lakers 98 jason collins and 99 george mikan the legend himself who ironically was the first star in the nba and i say ironically because he you get it first star in the NBA, but the last guy I mentioned in this video? <laughs> well, I'm done with my corny jokes. This was a pretty long video compared to the other ones that I do. If you enjoy these kind of videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And also drop a like if you enjoyed this specific video. Subscribe to the channel, push the bell for post notifications. Y'all know all the yada yada stuff. This is your boy David from NBA Knowledge. Y'all stay safe and have a great day. I'm out. Peace.